And El Parca, El Primero may be bringing back the glory, but AOCW doesn't have to because we never lost the Jason Clinton sensation, the main event of the 575th edition. You heard me right, numbers freaks, of Riot, OCW Riot. We are here in Barclays, and we are set for a big-time main event between two of the top young stars in our business. It's like a quote main event, Jake Allen. We still got the other big main event after this. Damn it doesn't matter. The point is, the point is, it happens. You'll edit it in post, but you won't. The point is, L. Parker has had a hell of a goddamn week. First, he took an L to Hollywood, USA. His tag team partner was indicted on federal charges. His eye is not 110, he's 27%. It is a, it's a bad time in the DDE Enterprise. It's a bad time for L. Parker. And to make matters worse, he's fighting. The, the Rookie King Killer, according to himself. And I'm stuttering because I'm stuttering because he's exciting right now. He's facing John Carter, who's been on a hell of a road, even though John Carter's a scumbag. Nobody likes him. Not even his mama or his parents. His father, Hunter McIntyre, doesn't even like him. <laughs> Back to the action, Jake Allen. And certainly not his former wrestling club stablemate, Chris Green. Saw both of those two earlier tonight. But it is time to throw down El Perka, about to meet his opponent, the light heavyweight champion. Utterly disgraceful from the FWC Hall of Famer. Only been there for six months. And he's a Hall of Famer, ladies and gentlemen. John Carter, the son of Hunter McIntyre. Benito from Italy is coming down to the ring with his ripped jeans, his lack of knee pads, and his light heavyweight championship. Who? He's in for the five tonight, Jake Allen. He's fighting El Parker, who, like I said, has a bad, he had a bad week. But when it comes time, to play the game. El Parker got the power up, the up, down, left, right, PA select spot code, and he got the turbo controller if needed. That was his call of a cheater, but you get what I'm saying. It's going downtown to the brown thing down. Let's go, baby. And you can tell when you hit the falsetto that you're very excited. And I got to tell you, Jason Sensation, six months in a, in a particular company making you a Hall of Famer, I think that speaks a lot to the prestige of that company. But that's a conversation for another time. This is OCW. This is where the big boys play. And John Carter has proven himself <laughs> to be one of those big boys. He is in his 11th month in OCW right now. Still a rookie as far as OCW is concerned. 17 years of history, you're gonna have to earn that mark. You're gonna have to earn that check mark, and right now he's not doing anything to earn the respect of these fans or El Parca by donning that Lucha Country shirt. Look at the adverb, Jake Allen, play. <laughs> Going down, Jake. Strap in. Former international champion, former tag team champion, and the now, very clear head of Dillinger Enterprises. We see Dennis Dillinger here to the, oh! to the right of us at, at ringside. He misses that forearm, that flying forearm. And John Carter trying to take advantage right away, ripping at the face and potentially the eye, Jason Sensation. He's going, he's, if he was smart, he'd go for the eye, but El Parker, look, he, he, he walked out the ring. He's trying to take a powder. He's assessing the situation. John Carter said, no, 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 like the King Baby Tumbo. And right now, oh, look at the wrestling. See, he hit him with the wrestling, Jake Allen. Yo, oh, swinging neck breaker, throwing it back. And I don't know if you caught that, Jason Sensation. But John Carter bouncing off of the ropes. It looked like he was about to do a uh, a tope and then just wagging the finger. And El Parca suffering the effects already early on in this match. You can see. Well, oh, my God. He can't see, but I can see that you can see that we can see that his eye is messed up. He ain't got the peripheral vision. His, his depth perception might be off. I don't like either of these people. But right now, El Park is getting it, getting the boost to him by this non-wrestling, saying he's wrestling club type of person. And now oh, El oh. Parker, and he is having it taken to him by John Carter. That's a big Jesus. close fist. And now he's going to go for the crucifix oh, pin to cover. Oh, trying to end this thing early, oh, too. No. no, El Park able to kick out at two. Oh, my goodness, Jake Allen. It's going 100. Maybe this should be the man. Oh, oh no. ducking <laughs> right underneath him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And another oh, swinging like neck breaker, Jason Sensation. He's a Hall of Famer for a reason, Jake Allen. <laughs> if you say so. He's proven it right. He's proven oh, it yeah. right now. And now we goes. saw we saw 
This is no disqualification, so this is allowed. But we saw John Carter, despite being the, the man who leads the wrestling club, he has a propensity for using weapons as he attacked his new number one contender, Harvey oh. Hamilton Ocean, with a kendo stick at the end of turmoil last week. He is, uh, I think, uh. He, oh, nice. Nice game. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh. He, 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 I guess, did away with the entire wrestling moniker because he had, like you said, he hit him with a kendo stick. That's not wrestling. He's coming out with ripped jeans. That's not wrestling. That's garbage wrestling. That's Outlaw Mud Show shit. And look at John Carter. Maybe he's part of the Outlaw Mud Show clique. That's why he got a Hall of Fame ring in the Outlaw Mud Show, Jay Callen. Big chop there from John Carter oh. into the corner, but El Parker bouncing back using that. Uh, definitive speed advantage and now a poison rana and the light heavyweight champion being dropped on the crown of his skull no defeat no surrender from el parker the former tag team champion i don't like either of these mothers these mother sukas, <laughs> but you know sometimes you gotta vote for somebody and i'll always vote for the guy who's hurt front face lock into a swinging neck breaker or a falling neck breaker out of that suplex position you still see that chair in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and we have an Irish whip, El Parka, playing a little mind games now. Ooh. Oh, look at the chop. Big chop, and now a snapmare oh. driver. And maybe some mind games of his own. A little shout out to Christian Garcia, rookie of Dillinger Enterprises. And there's the kick out from El Parka. Speaking of which, where the hell's Christian Garcia? Who shouldn't be out here? Shouldn't be Dillinger be out here for moral support? Oh, God, and now 10. That is taking a shot. And Dennis Dillinger is out here with us at ringside. Garcia, obviously, we saw the shocking events, what happened earlier tonight when Mark Reese announced his tag team partner for Summerside. That probably has a lot to do with where Garcia is at this moment. Now, counter on the suplex, and that is John Carter's oh. specialty. Oh, El Parker is, is having trouble in paradise. Nice reversal there from El Parco. Let's see what he has in mind. Gonna pop him up, tuck his head behind the turnbuckle, and that's a super <laughs> kick from El Primero. Tuck your head for my finish, kid. I'm going in dry. El Parker now trying to lift John Carter. Not going to happen. Oh. And John Carter uh -oh. trying to put this thing away uh -oh. early. El Parker in a lot of trouble. Is he gonna get it? The knee oh. right to the jaw of El Parker. Here is the cover. One. No, but El Parker able to kick out of the big knee. I just said it, Jake Allen. What's your finish, kid? I'm kicking out at what? Disrespectful, but they both deserve it. Back to the action. Oh, look at that. Oh, and jaw break. John Carter not paid by the hour, really trying to take it to his opponent and prove that he is a dominant light heavyweight champion. And now El Parker, there's a knee of his own. Carter still on his feet. And now an Omega driver <laughs> from El Parca, one half of the former Lucha Country. Here is the cover. No, and you got to think a pinfall victory over John Carter would go a long way for momentum heading into a CCW World Championship match at Summerside. You know what? I kind of uh -oh. agree with you. Oh, oh no, head guess first. Not. I don't agree with you anymore. Head first. Boop, it's over. Count to a thousand. There's the cover. One, two. No, and again, he's able to kick out despite having his head driven nearly through a steel chair and now here's carter we saw this in his match with antonio everett but unfortunately this time it is no dq no incentive for ted to not pay attention one could say he learned uh -oh. to sell again mexico just kidding back to the action and the oh, oh steel turnbuckle and now just bashing Jesus. his skull <laughs> oh. finally parka does <laughs> counter and now oh i think he was trying to go downstairs there boss and now a back he elbow, and now grabbing the eye, El Parker, grabbing the eye, he, he's really milking that injury. Uh, maybe he's milking it, but he, you know, Ted doing his job, got to check the eye. He's he's working it. He's working uh, a little, little, little abled. Don't want to say this. Back to the action. Another big knee. Oh, my God. And nothing about the knee that time. That is a low blow to John Carter. Here's the cover. Is that all she wrote? One, two. Oh, and Parker not done with him yet. Oh, he hit him right into John Carter's, man. Jesus. I don't know if that was a wise idea, trying to get a little more damage in. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, and now oh. bouncing off of he the ropes for time. added leverage. Big forearm to the skull of John Carter. Prodding him back to his feet. Even things up. Ted has fixed the uh -oh. turnbuckle. Poison right on the top of the chair. 
That's why I have no qualification. No DQ, no rope breaks. The no cover rope one, break. two. No, <laughs> Carter kicks out at two. <laughs> Now that John Carr is in the deep end, he's now in with a veteran that is El Park, and he, <laughs> he's taking the powder. These two scumbags who's going to out scumbag each other. Now he's playing with the TV. That's our TVs. Now we can't see what's happening on the TV. Thanks for that. My, my, my water. Don't knock my water down, you son of a bitch. Well, we, we still have action to call here. Uh, as you mentioned, Jason Sensation, our main event up next. We'll see the world champion, but for right now, our table has been dismantled, and that could spell disaster for either El Parca or John Carter. It could definitely, and it goes to spell disaster for my bottled water. Uh-oh. And I say water with air quotes. Uh-oh. Whipped into the table. Now El Parca counters, oh. kicked to the midsection. And John Carter going to slide him right back in the ring and try and finish the job oh. in between the ropes. He's trying. Both men want to win. According on who you ask on social media, winning is everything in OCW. Back to the action. Is Look it gonna out. Be over? Wait a minute. Destino oh, after the reversal, no. and he nails it. Here's the cover. Oh, One, no, two, and John Carter. Oh. Now he's able to kick out at two. And now each of these uh, men have been hit with one of the more devastating maneuvers in their opponent's arsenal and been able to get up afterwards. They got they got a lot of tools and trades and tricks. <laughs> How oh, about a treble in Tijuana out of nowhere? Mark Reese knows what that feels trick. like. Here is the cover. That's got to be a one, no. Uno, two. two. El Parca <laughs> victorious against the light heavyweight champion. A hard fought victory from the bottom has required. Oh, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. Come on, man. Oh, what a trope. Really? What a trope. Oh, hey, God, I'm so sick of this. El Primero. Oh, oh God, there's a kick Why? downstairs, and that is Why? that is all the fault of El Parca. I don't know how he fell for that. Oh, God, wait a minute. Look, somebody's there to pick up the pieces after being kicked in the groin. Tony Touch is here. Tony Touch is here. The CCW World Champion, John Carter, the light heavyweight champion just kicked the number one contender for the CCW title in his nuts. And obviously we oh, know Tony put the Antonio <laughs> Everett has plenty of history with John Carter himself. Tombstone power <laughs> drive with a London eye. Down he goes on. Oh, oh, Parka <laughs> has recovered. Oh, and he slides back <laughs> in the ring and delivers a shot downstairs. These guys love hitting each other in the dick. What the hell? Now John Carter trying to pick up the Fidel. El Parka denying the back attack and Parka. Ejects John he's Carter from the ring. He's ping pong in his head. He's putting his hands up like he's a crowd favorite. You're not a crowd favorite. Nobody likes you. Put your all oh, cheese speaking of nobody who likes people. He ate you out. Oh, they're just fighting. They just don't. And, H2O, John and Carter, Antonio God. Everett has arrived. And now here on the ramp, Harvey Hamilton Ocean, the new number one contender. And now we're going to go back and forth here on the ramp. It's utter chaos. And we're not even done with the show. It's a goddamn handball fight. Look out, he's oh. breaking free of security. He's not had enough of John Carter. Ah. Traveling to one in the ring. I can't keep up. Yeah, nobody can keep up. <laughs> and the scumbag takes the title. Why, why is Ted handing him the it's title? for the crowd. I don't know. Ted is probably scared and confused as I am. Uh, Dillinger, <laughs> Dillinger yelling at Ted to hand the belt over to El Primero. Could this be what we see at Summerside in just eight days? Who the hell knows, Jay Callen? What a match. And we still got the real main event coming right up in a few segments or after the messages. I don't know anymore. <laughs>